Hi, I'm Felipe. I'm Lillian. And this is the Postmodern Family. Welcome to our show. If you haven't seen us before, we're Americans living in the UK and we make videos about traditional family life. And if you notice, we're not wearing glasses today or shades. Please hit that subscribe button if you're interested in any of these um, mm. Americans who live in the UK. Yes, we have a fascinating show. You should be very interested. Show. Yeah, it's a show. It's a show. It's a thrice weekly show. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about this fantastic trip that we took to the historic town of Mayfield. Our friends invited us to this thing called the Bonfire Parade. The Mayfield parade. Bonfire. The Mayfield Bonfire. I think so. And apparently there are a cluster of towns in this area that celebrate bonfires. They take turns doing a bonfire. Specifically in September. Mm-hmm. And, um... I don't quite know the whole history of rotating and doing bonfires in each one of these towns, but at each town, the other towns send representatives to that bonfire parade and they march or parade down the high street with um, burning torches, torches, and, and um, colors that represent their town or maybe even a theme. Yeah, some of them look like Where's Waldo, so like a striped red stripes on a white shirt, long sleeve. So red and white stripes. I don't remember the town green association. Green and white, mm -hmm. green and red, blue and white. There are a lot of different color combinations, but stripes yeah. were the, yeah. the way to, I That's guess, right. express That's right. But that town. wasn't the only costume people wear, wore. It was treated like, almost like Halloween. They dressed up a la Victorian style. I think, um, I think what they were doing was, I think their group picked a theme. So for okay. example, Native Americans. The, hey. Like yeah, I don't know. There was a group of kids like a, it was like it looked like a toddler group like got together mm. or maybe representing a school mm. and um, their theme was to wear onesies, you know, those footed PJs mm -hmm. from head to toe. They do that for adults now, so they had adults and children just yes. like that. Um, some other ones that were not familiar with the groups, but yes, they had some people who looked like Native Americans. Yeah, Native Americans of North America. Yeah. This is definitely cultural appropriation here. And then... And there were cowboys as well. Westerners, yeah, yeah. they look like the old West. Old American West. And there were soldiers. Yes. And then there were people in skeleton shirts and wearing skulls yeah, and like, skeletons. Yeah. And then also pirates. Pirates, yeah, the pirates were pretty popular. And then like Renaissance y. Um... <laughs> Maybe Victorian, mm. Victorian dress mm. with maybe, masks. Maybe masquerading, ma masquerade ball kind of gowns. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all sorts. So it was really fascinating. We don't have something like that in the U.S. beyond Halloween, really. But it doesn't well, have. Well, I would say um, Mardi Gras. People get mm, really. But they don't have up. a bonfire. And then no, they'll march with torches. That's right. So it, this happened at sundown. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mariachi band? Another Native American.
And then they also had some fireworks in later in the evening around mm -hmm. 10, 30, 11, which we didn't go to. Yes, um, but, the, but the most fascinating bit that we learned was that the Mayfield bonfire specifically was to commemorate and remember the burning of six Protestants that were burned by Catholics in the 1550s, I think. Mm -hmm. So martyrs. Yeah, they were martyrs. They were burnt for not renouncing their Protestant faith mm -hmm. by Catholics. And so you saw burnt crosses in the mm -hmm. procession. These are crosses no. that are meant to commemorate the fact that these martyrs were burnt on at crosses stake. At, mm -hmm. you know, at the stake. So really uh, amazing, I thought. Um, that, that they the would celebrate this. <laughs> And that the parade had been going on for 462 years. 461, I thought. 461 years, excuse me. But um, which is uh, older than any of the colonies that were established in the United States. So yeah. people have been walking down the high street with torches in Mayfield no longer than any Englishman had come and settled a colony in the United States. Yeah, so it had lots of history, but mm. it was really... It was really neat to see. There are a lot of children out. Um, so it yeah. wasn't, like for example, I don't think you would have very many children in Mardi Gras, would you? No, but Mardi Gras has a lot of other debauchery. This had no debauchery. Yeah. There were people drinking beers, but there wasn't any drunkenness. There wasn't any nudity. Right. There wasn't any of that sort. So yeah. it was yeah, a family so friendly festival. Yes, they also had set up some um, little amusement rides, like mm. spinning things, I don't know, that light mm. up at night in a field nearby and they also had a lot of, mm -hmm. of those um, food stalls mm -hmm. where you could get like fair food, you know, like... I saw no. sausages and... Um, Donuts. Yeah. What yeah. else did they have? Cotton candy. Hamburgers, chips. They call cotton candy here candy floss. Why? Tell us why you call it candy floss. Do you floss yeah. your teeth with it? I don't, <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Um, but let's talk about the most interesting part um, to reflect upon. Was, no, to reflect upon which is whether there's cultural appropriation. Yes, because because we yes. saw these Native American dressed people, I mean, clearly First of they all, were, these were all white people. Yeah, they're all white all people. All white people. I saw no one of any no ethnic Asian, diversity except no ourselves. Hispanic, Hispanic. Which I'm not offended by. We're not offended by. Who cares? No, it's, best, it's a yeah. small town. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're anyway. not expecting it. Although, Maybe your BBC reporters would report on the lack of diversity at this festival. We don't care. But anyway, yes, mm. seeing these white people mm. paint their faces kind of reddish tone mm. and then and do, wearing, wearing feathers. war paint and wearing feathers, like yeah. chieftain hats, yeah, yeah, what are they yeah, called? Yeah. Um, I couldn't help but think. Are they appropriating the culture of the Native Americans? To be honest, I don't really know what cultural appropriation is. Like, what? why what it is it so negative? Yeah. Because, for example, there was a Idiots. picture... Idiots! There was a picture <laughs> of a young girl. She was maybe 8 to 10. Mm. And she was having a Japanese tea party. And mm. she got lots of flack online for having dressed up, painted her yeah, face white. Yeah, appropriated the Japanese kimono, culture. And yeah, she's a white girl and, and serving tea. And then the, I mean, the best part was, were the comments where the Japanese people were saying, this is great. Like mm -hmm. we love that our culture is being celebrated by this Westerner. Yeah. And so I'm not sure what the big deal is about cultural appropriation. The big deal, right, is that there are cultures who pride themselves in being victims maybe is the right phrase they want to they perpetuate victimhood mm -hmm. and if you emulate their victimhood. no the, any aspect of their culture not the victimhood in this but any aesthetic feature of their culture it's as though you're appropriating their victimhood card oh you so see? you're saying i'm gonna play the victim card even though i'm white correct okay you see i see so how well, dare no. you be indian when we're the victims of you know well i could see that being a problem if mm. 
Like, remember there was that that white woman who believed she was black? Yes. Okay, Rachel something. Rachel like, something, yeah. Um, She actually was pretending to be black. Yeah. And yes, I, I think she was playing, she was using that card to say, look, I'm of ethnic minority. Yes. I should get into this and that. I'm... She was an NAACP. But that's just yeah. Chapter. But that's that's just offensive because she's trying to milk a system. Yeah, that's and that been built up wrong. to sort of cater but, to other victims, if you will. Yeah. That's straight up wrong, though. But but to dress up and celebrate the good aspects, uh, or the things that are appealing to you about a culture, yeah. not to actually pretend like you're one ethnicity. By the way, culture and race are not the same thing. For someone who's parading around like they're Native American in a parade, is that cultural appropriation? My yeah, view is that, yeah, what they did is not cultural appropriation. And I don't even know what cultural appropriation is. So I, I gave a definition in which it's just a victim culture's attempt to um, keep exclusive rights to their victim card. If that's the definition, marching down the high street in an Indian attire, mm -hmm is not trying to take any aspect of victimhood, you see? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, remember when they, what about those mascots that used to be Native American mascots oh, and they used to do like the, the chanting? That's not. Let's move on. They passed through the high street three times. We only witnessed the first passing. The first passing. Um, but uh, it goes all the way to 10 to 11 or something yeah. like that. I gotta say the best ones were the ones who had drummers oh, because yes. that really gets people hyped up I think <laughs> some bands too but they were terrible they're all right you know whatever <laughs> MC guy, he was dressed in like this crazy head to toe outfit of, with Union Jacks. With Union Jacks. On and his suit. It was like a three piece suit with Union Jacks that size all over printed. Yeah. And then they yeah. were selling lots of these little light saber things for the children. Yeah. Give me that good. glow toy. I want that glow toy. <laughs> so, we didn't buy one no, single we didn't. one. It was really nice fair. Uh, I think a lot of people turned out for it. Any favorite outfits? My favorite outfit was probably uh, a guy in Imperial era soldier's uniform. And there was also what looked like American colonial period. Yeah, dress. there was. I don't know, it was really exciting, especially with the torches. They, they were giving off lots of heat and smoke and they were really close to you as they were walking by. Do you like it? You have fun? What did you see? Fire! Fire! Thanks for watching. See you later. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this video. See you guys. Bye! Bye.